Hi YouTube, it's Kim. I just wanted to pop in to tell you about the three medications that I take for psoriasis. One is healthy, whole, anti-inflammatory food. It is so helpful, so healing. Just think you are what you eat. So anything that goes into your body is gonna either come out through your skin if it's toxic and inflammatory, and if it's healthy, it'll come out through your poop. <laughs> so that's how I kind of look at it. Um, I'm sure you're wondering, well, what are those foods? What are anti-inflammatory foods? Well, there are a lot. So there are tons of resources online. You could even just Google anti-inflammatory foods and you will get a thousand videos from a million different doctors and speakers and nutritionists and all sorts of people. And, um, or you can look at one of my older videos as well. So that's my number one medication. Number two is what I put on my skin which I will talk about today at length. And number three is self-love, which is probably my biggest medication and the hardest. <laughs> um, that is just loving yourself and making it a practice to learn how to love yourself. You know, self-love is looked at to be so woo-woo and it is such a healing tool. So you know how we talk to other people and we treat other people with kindness and there's just certain ways that you would treat other people that you would like totally, well, there's ways that you would treat yourself where you would totally never treat other people like that. So it's basically learning how to treat yourself the way you would treat others, how to give yourself love, say kind things to yourself, you know, not listen to that monkey brain, which tells you so many negative, false things about who you are or you know, just anything about yourself, um, those thoughts can completely throw you in a tailspin and make you hate yourself. And those thoughts are just little lies. And our thoughts will always, always, we're designed to pretty much always lean into the negative. So just try to pay attention to those thoughts, try to catch them, and just question it. That's it. That's all it is. Just question it. Who who exactly is saying that? Like if you have a thought that says like, oh, I'm so stupid. Well, are you stupid? Do you feel like you really are stupid? Do you, you know, just question like who's saying that? That's not true. I'm actually very smart, you know, and just, just keep doing that over time and you will catch so often how much you speak negatively to yourself. So it's just a matter of taking it, recognizing it, t flipping it into a positive, And just the more and more you do that, it'll become a practice. And it'll be so much easier as time goes on to catch those negative thoughts and be like, wait a second, that's not very loving. What else can I say to myself that's loving today? You know? So that's my biggest medication. But my second medication, which was what I put on my skin, is what I really wanted to talk to you about today. So there are so many harmful, toxic ingredients that this country, America, allows in their over-the-counter skin and beauty products. It's actually quite horrific. Um, there's thousands of them. And they're ingredients that I think is very interesting that Europe bans from their country altogether. They don't even allow these ingredients in the country, let alone in their beauty products and skincare products. So I don't know why we do. I, I don't know why that's okay, but we need to avoid them like the plague because for people like us, skin sufferers, people who struggle with any type of autoimmune disease, especially skin, <clears throat> we need to use healthy and whole products with no toxic ingredients, no pesticides, no harmful chemicals made in the laboratory, um, no petroleum. I mean, I. I can't even list them. There's just so many. Um, parabens, you know, you probably see things with fragrance or with dyes. Toxic, toxic, toxic. So I want to encourage you to try to find the right skincare products for you. Um, I can tell you what I use. It doesn't mean that you're going to like it or like the way it feels on your skin, but I preferably, um, I like oils, healthy oils. I love coconut oil. I get this one from Trader Joe's, which is great. It's just organic virgin coconut oil. 
And I also use from Trader Joe's um, Argon Oil for my face. I really like it. So I'm an oil girl, but I use a lot of other oils actually on my skin. I use avocado oil, even olive oil, walnut oil, almond oil. There are so many healthy oils. And then I have, you know, a lot of people in my life who don't like oils. They just, maybe their skin is a little too oily and they're like, no, I like a moisturizer type of cream base instead. There are so many companies now that are making natural products. So many. So I just want to encourage you to Google and find whatever product. Just try as much of them as you can to find the right one for you. Um, I did that for a really, really long time, and I found myself loving certain products and spending a ton of money, but I kept coming back to my coconut oil. Like, this is something that I just, I put everywhere. I melt it under the sink in some hot water. It becomes liquid, and I just put, let, lather it all up underneath my sweater or underneath my leggings. So I just want to encourage you to spend some time and effort and a little bit of money and find the right one for you. It might take a little bit of time, but again, there are so many great companies that are making healthy products out there now. And you can just Google healthy, non-toxic skincare products. That's it. And just try whichever one you can to just find what's right for you. And if you want to go to Trader Joe's, they have amazing oils. All those oils I mentioned, they sell. I don't know if you have a Trader Joe's by you, but um, you can always go to Amazon and you know you can find things anywhere nowadays. So what you put on the inside, what you consume and put on the inside of your body, and then what goes in on the outside of your body. Both of them matter so much. You will seriously see a difference if you focus on these three medications, um, whole food, self-love, skincare products that are non-toxic. Those are my three key elements to having healthy, clear skin. All right, everybody, that's it for today. I'll see you soon.